Half your body fluid. Come downstairs and sit down in the kitchen and see how you feel, okay? If, if it doesn't sit very well, stay home. We started putting the morning together and I remember that she came into the kitchen and she got a drink of... Okay. You sure? I feel better now. You're going to school? Probably. Um, I don't know about it's that. It's normally after I throw up that I feel better. Come downstairs and sit down in the kitchen and see how you feel, okay? Welcome to the show, Eight Passengers. I am your host, Jimmy Fallon. Today we are going back to school. As you can tell, none of us want to go back to school. Thank you. Abby, you're not going to school. You just puked <laughs> half your body fluid. That's a lot of fluid. Go to bed. Mm, no, Mom, I have so many like... Do you want me to go get some stuff for you? Here's the thing. If you go to school and then you throw up again, I'm not going to be able to come get you. Why don't you try eating a little breakfast and see how it sits? If, if it doesn't sit very well, then you can go to school. I mean, stay home. Dang it, I don't Good morning, off. Nolly. We are definitely experiencing jet lag. We got back from yeah, Hawaii like yesterday, We're like hallucinating. and we went a full 24 hours without sleep. Look at my eyes. <laughs> it was actually, <laughs> it's so bad. we got home and it was 24 hours since we'd slept, and then we had another 10 hours before we went to bed. So it was like 34 hours without sleep. A lot of you were asking what we did with our pets, especially our dog when we left. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard to vlog the next few weeks because all I am doing, talking makes me cough. So I'm gonna be very careful when I talk and try not to cough. <clears throat> Nolly went to a dog camp. What's cool is that they sectioned it like low energy, medium energy, and extreme high energy. And so Nolly went to the low energy camp so basically they like slept all day, but they got to go out and play together and make new friends together with other grandma and grandpa dogs. And then the snake, Bagels, and Prickles, the hedgehog, went to a vet and the vet took care of them while we were gone. So it worked out really, really great. We figured out why Abby felt sick. We started putting the morning together and I remember that she came into the kitchen and she got a drink of water on an empty stomach. Anytime I ever take a drink of water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, I get so sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Why do I don't? I don't know. Some people do and some people don't. Do you guys ever drink water on an empty stomach and feel sick? I literally can't do it. Do you think that's what happened? Because you feel fine now? Is that yours? Love you. Have a good day at school. Bye, Julie. Love you too. Have a good day at school. You sure you're gonna be okay? Yes. Okay. Love you. Bye. You about ready? You gonna be okay without your coat? Oh, my jacket. Yeah. In your jacket? Okay. This is much better. Wipe down your sink, your, uh, get a liner in your garbage. Wipe down your mirror. Come straighten up your shoes. Just come back and straighten up your closet. I've decided I'm not letting my kids go to school until the rooms and bathrooms are picked up. I'm just not, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> your rooms and bathrooms are all picked up. I've checked them. Wait a minute, I just said goodbye to you. How come you're all in the house again? Because because we're gonna wait even longer for the car to warm up. And it's still cold. He's here, let's go! Oh my gosh. Don't forget your lunch under there. Is that your lunch, Russell? Yeah. Let Whose purple binder is this? Oh, that's Chad. That's yours? Okay. Bye kids, love you. Bye. Russell lost his coat. If you remember a couple weeks ago, maybe three even, I showed the Obermeyer coats, how I love they're just super warm. I think they're warmer than North Face. I don't know what the proclivity of young boys is to lose their jackets, but they are my sons at this age have always lost their jackets and he can't find his coat anywhere. And I'm pretty upset because it's a really nice coat. It's not like I can say, okay, well, the rest of the winter you just don't have a coat. Like I 
have to make sure he has a coat because he'll freeze. Like it's way too cold to be sitting into school with just a sweatshirt on. It's like seven degrees outside. So I'm gonna have to <coughs> buy him a new coat. I'm going to school. Last time I did go to school because I was like really hurting and you know, remember? And this time we're gonna go. I feel really good, you know. Oh, Ron's fixing my hair. Mommy and Julie does my hair like that. Sometimes she does not do it. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> I look like a man when they sit down. <laughs> I think I look like a bunny with that. Uh, it looks like ear down. <laughs> Each people in the class that are students, their mommy comes and they they help th being teachers. That's what happens. Maybe you will be able to be one. That was a very nice way of asking. I have not yet volunteered in her classroom. I'll talk to your teacher today and see if there's a time I can come in, okay? Christmas present. This is from Eve's preschool teacher. This is their first day back to preschool. Aww, look at me in a picture. This must be the little book that um, her teacher told me. She pulled me aside earlier in the year and she said, will you please have a talk with Eve and ask her to smile for the pictures because she's going to be really disappointed with something if she doesn't. So did you start smiling? Mm -hmm. Eh? Is for what? What is that? Apple. Apple. Oh my heck. Look at you. You're an elf. I'm just a candy. It's just a costume. That is so cute. I will keep this forever. Not, no, it's me. We will keep this forever. Oh my heck. Eve, is this one of the pictures that she said that you would not smile in? Yes. Why wouldn't you smile? It's because I'm nervous. She says, I'm nervous in front of the camera. And I'm like, oh, psh. this girl lives in front of a camera. Oh, that looks like a scary snake. Please tell me that's not real. No, it's not real. <laughs> like, guess what? These are the brownies that you really like. I know. You made those rolls all by yourself with your teacher. They were so delicious. She gave me this stuff. You have the most fun preschool teacher. Are you a volcano? Eve. No, that's just fake. That's a dusty costume. Oh, I was worried for a second there. This is seriously the cutest book. I am dying over how cute it is. Um, you have a very fashion savvy mother. You always look so cute and fashionable, if I do say so myself. Eve, that is the most darling alphabet book ever. That is the most precious, precious gift. It didn't shoot. It got a hole in my mouth. It could hit his butt. <laughs> Look how worried Chad looks. <laughs> you worried, You're Chad? You're a scaredy cat. You're a scaredy cat. You missed. You missed. Oh, Mozo, look what you just opened. You just opened the biggest can of worms. Don't put it in the toilet. No, 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 Chad, stop it. Well, Chad, this at least gives you a toilet duty. Your toilet's dirty and you need to clean it. That's, that's kind of disgusting. 
I have slowly gotten ready through the day. Like, I got my makeup on by noon, I got dressed by three, and I finally got my hair done, and it's like seven o'clock, and I am waiting for my bread to rise. I put it next to the fireplace to kind of hopefully speed up the process a little bit. They're coming. I can hear screaming from the bedroom, which tells me the boys are at it again. Okay, Russell, I got clean water. Let's do this again. <laughs> I gotta go. Someone's gonna get their head flushed, and I gotta go. Dinner's ready! Everyone, come up! I need a bell. Ding, 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 ding! Okay, Google. They don't have Broadcast, it's time for dinner. Got it. Broadcasting now. It's dinner time. And who helped me grind the wheat? Not, Not I. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said Not the cat. I, said the pig. And who helped me make the wheat into dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dum-dum. <laughs>